Hello everyone, Lindsay McCowan here. And in Juno, we were uh, getting ready to film and he kept coming in. So we like, let's just go with it. It's life and we practice regardless of the distractions that are in our lives, right? So welcome. Um, today's practice is really for those of us that have been running a little hot recently. So for women that are experiencing symptoms of perimenopause or menopause, and so let's just go ahead and get started and I'll talk um, a little bit about what we're doing as we actually go through the practice. So let's start with first getting two blankets. I folded these blankets and stacked them. You can also use a bolster if you have one or just a stack of pillows. And then perhaps you might need two blocks if you have them. If, don't, if you don't, just don't worry about it. You can use any sort of props, a book or something, or just, again, don't worry about it. It's not about trying to have exactly what you um, all the perfect yoga props. Uh, that's not what's important to the practice. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your bolster, your pillows, or your blankets, <clears throat> and you're going to come to sit about six inches from the edge of the blankets. And then you're going to lay down so your low back is supported and your head is supported. So we definitely want the head supported. We don't want the head flopping off of the blankets or the bolster. And then let the arms go super wide or really whatever's comfortable for you, especially if you have a lot of tightness in your chest, maybe it doesn't feel good to go really wide. And then anything you want with the legs, you can extend them out, <laughs> cross your cat, or <laughs> you can bring the feet together and the knees wide. I like to draw my knee, my feet and knees in to knock, okay? Because it just feels better for my back. So you figure out what's good for you. And then go ahead and close the eyes. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose and then out through the mouth. And as we go through the, this shift uh, this in our lives, this transitionary time in our lives, we experience a lot of different things physically and emotionally and definitely mentally because it could be definitely a mind challenge a nice way to put it right so let's just think about taking a nice deep breath in and as you exhale just sigh out all that stuff that is just at the surface that feels like it's boiling take a nice deep breath in make a big sound <sighs> and then just notice the breath moving in and out through the body and this practice is meant to do Three things. One, nourish us, nourish us. And to help us cool the body, cool the mind, and cool the emotions. But also help with a little bit of clarity in the head, because what happens is during when we experience symptoms of perimenopause or menopause, we run hotter at times. That is not just physically heated, but also the heat that can come with the fluctuation of emotions. And what can happen is our mind can really run rampant because we feel like we're losing a part of ourselves. That comes with an identification of our youth. And then we get a little bit foggy headed too. We feel like we're losing part of our memory and our ability to recall and hold on to information. And then we also have this identification with just the physical body. So we're just going to know that in this moment, there's nothing to do or to fix. There's nothing that we need to do or fix, and we don't need to fit into a particular shape of the body. This practice is not about shaping the body. And with that intention, we nourish ourselves. So deep breath in and out. And let's just change the breath a little bit. So we're going to breathe in through the nose. And just purse the lips slightly as you exhale. As if you are laying on your back and you're like this fountain that's just spitting water up and this cooling mist is coming out all around you. And if that's not a, an image that works well for you, 
then come up with one that does, that enables you to kind of feel or envision or sense this cooling mist that comes with the breath or just is all around you. So breathing in, pursing the lips. And just sensing the body cooling as you exhale. And perhaps you can feel the coolness of a fan or air on your skin With each exhale out, there's a sense of letting go of that identification with the mind and that identification with the body. Because it's really the identification with mind and body that causes our suffering. So this is about nourishing our soul, the part of us that is always at peace, is always steady. As you breath in, exhale through the mouth. Nothing to do, nothing to fix. No shape of the body that we're trying to perfect. That we deserve to be here in this moment, in this body. And we deserve to be here and live in joy. Take a couple more rounds like this. Just sensing that cooling mist with the exhale. Whole body open and supported by the earth. Honoring ourselves by doing this practice, nourishing ourselves, clearing the mind. Cooling the body and our emotions. Okay, and you can stay here as long as you like. Okay, This is about nourishing yourself. So if there's any part of this practice that you want to continue with, you give yourself permission to do that. If you're ready, interlace the hands behind the head and just support yourself as you curl up. And you can grab behind the legs, slowly come up, you want to rock yourself up to a seated position and we're going to move the blankets out of the way and just come to sit cross-legged for a moment and you can sit on the blanket if that's more comfortable for you so the idea is when we nourish ourselves and we're not trying to shape the body or fit ourselves into a particular pose just really allow yourself to flow in the way that it feels like it needs to in this moment to feel more nourished more free-flowing more open more supported so we're going to take the hands to the knees, breathe in. We're going to rock forward on the sits bones, lift the heart, lift the chin. And then as you exhale, we're going to lean back, hollow out the belly as the chin comes to the chest. And we're just going to rock forward and back, breathing in, lifting and opening the chest, and then exhaling, rocking back. And if you want to add that little bit of a pursed lips or even opening the mouth all the way and exhaling, We're going to use that breath throughout this technique. It's a nice way, or this practice, it's a nice way to help us get a complete exhale, but also a little bit more cooling breath. Now from here, let's start to do these barrel rolls. And try, as we go through this practice, don't be rigid in the sense of trying to match what I'm doing with my body, but allow yourself this freedom of movement. So as we do these barrel rolls, if you want to add in some shoulder movements, let the neck get involved. You can close the eyes or leave it o them open, but starting to move in a way that isn't redundant or doesn't become habitual. But you're just exploring what your body needs because as we transition in to what we call in yoga a vata time in our life, what happens is we start to feel the effects of um, less having less ojas which is like this the oil the stuff that feels like lubricating and what we need to do is incorporate in things that help us you know nurture the joints of the body that are slower in movement 
more nourishing. Let's come back to stillness. Center head over the pelvis. Take a deep breath in. Arms reach up overhead. And we're just going to exhale, lean up and over to the left. Just let this be loose because we're just going to go back and forth. Inhaling up and over. And then back and forth with this. And just let the breath be this fluid. Breathing in through the nose. You can breathe out through the nose if you're familiar with Ujjayi. But if you feel like you need to release heat, exhale through the mouth. Again, no right or wrong to this. This is just allowing the body to move in a way that feels lubricating to the joints, especially to the spine that gets so stiff. Okay, now the next time we inhale and come up, we're actually going to twist to the left. So you're going to inhale, come up, and then twist, taking your hand to your knee, other hand behind the back. You can look forward or you can start to turn the head. And let's actually do this. Let's just breathe in, look forward. And then trace a line across the horizon as you exhale and turn your head over your back shoulder. And this is a little technique to help focus the mind. So breathing in, looking forward, and then exhaling, tracing a line. So don't just let the, uh, yourself space out as you do this. Find a, a line to follow across the horizon, nice and slow, turning the head. So really focusing the eyes. And then we're going to inhale, come back to center, sweep the arms up overhead. And then we'll go to the other side, just a loose twist. Again, let's not try to be rigid or forced. Now let's look forward over the front shoulder. Spine nice and tall, so we have a little bit of space between the vertebrae. Breathe in. And then exhale, slowly start to turn your head. Focus your gaze so that you see where you're going. And then come back to center. And as you do this a few more times, notice that the head will stop moving because you have a limited range of motion here, but your eyes can go a little bit further and then come back. Let's do two more. And that movement of the eyes a little bit further than the head is actually really healthy for the eyes. Okay, last one. Nice and slow. Exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. And then we come back to center. Let's take the arms up overhead again, breathing in. And then exhaling, bringing the hands to the heart space and just close the eyes for a moment and breathe in that intention. There's nothing to do, nothing to fix. We're not trying to make our bodies look a particular way. We all know that comparison is the death of our joy. So we just breathe in and honor ourselves where we're in in this moment. Okay, let's go ahead and come over onto your hands and knees. Okay, okay, so hands right underneath the shoulder. Let's breathe in, lift the heart, lift the tailbone. And then as you exhale, draw the chin and navel it and shifting back to child pose. And inhaling, coming up to all fours. Now what we're going to do is just add any particular movement you want as you shift back. So we can do start to add that idea of those barrel rolls into this movement and allowing this to be whatever it needs to be for you. But again, don't let the movement be redundant. Just exploring how your body feels, what it might need. Because what my body needs right now could be very different than what yours is. So I'm just offering suggestions with an opportunity for you to add on or take away. So you can bend the elbows, you can get the chest super close to the floor. You can add in some barrel rolls with the arms straight and hips right over the knees. A couple more. And just paying attention to how the body is breathing. At any point you feel like you need to release some heat. Exhaling through those pursed lips. Sensing that cooling mist coming in. Okay, then let's come up to all fours. Let's extend the right leg behind you. We're going to breathe in here. And then as you exhale, dome the back, push the floor away, exhaling through those purse lips. Inhaling, opening up. Exhale. So you just draw the knee as close to the forehead as you can. 
Inhaling, maybe even lifting the heel a little bit higher than the hip. Last one, exhale. And then set the foot between the hands. You might have to heave ho it there. And then lean into that left thigh. Come up onto your fingertips so you can use your blocks here. Or if you want, you can bring the hands up to your thigh. But we're going to pulse here. So we won't be too long with the hands on the thigh if you chose that option. And then let's go ahead and bring the hands down to the floor. We're going to breathe in, heart lifts, chin lifts. And as you exhale, draw the chin in and bow it down like you're bowing down to the earth. And then inhaling, rising up. And let's just rock back and forth. As you exhale, the sense of bowing inward, but bowing down. We know that the Mother Earth has so much wisdom, so much beauty. And those aspects of the Divine Mother are within us. So we bow down to her. It's not just the youthfulness of the early stages of life that should be honored, but it's really the wisdom that comes with living on this earth for a long time. A deep honoring of the progression of life and all the stages of life. Now this time we're going to come forward, stay here, take the left hand to the floor to the block, take the right arm up to the sky and just start backstroking the arm. Just kind of checking out how the joint feels here, the shoulder joint and how that shoulder blade wraps around the rib cage. And then we'll stay here and hold looking up towards your thumb or you can look down at your hand. Either one. Two more breaths. Okay, take the top hand down to the floor, straighten the back leg, and step back to a downward facing dog. And just pedal the feet here. I'm just kind of rocking heel to heel, exploring sensation through the hamstrings, back, whole posterior chain. And then let both heels come down to the mat. And then let's bring the knees back down, breathing in here, lifting the chin, lifting the tailbone, and then exhaling round the back. Okay, come back to a neutral spine, breathing in and extending the left leg behind you. And then we'll exhale through those pursed lips, dome the back. So we're inhaling, feeling the body open up, the front body. And then as we exhale, we feel the back body open up. Inhaling, exhaling through those pursed lips. And then step the foot between the hands. Lean into that right thigh, come up onto the fingertips, smooth breath in. And then we'll exhale and rock back that bowing down. And just keep doing this with your own breath. I've been doing you pranayama yoga for a while so my breath capacity is going to be different than those that might be starting out with yoga or if you have a lot of stress going in your life your breath will be different than if you feel like life is easy and smooth right now so you just do the best you can and just pay attention right hand stays on the mat left arm goes up to the sky look towards your thumb or down at the mat I almost forgot we have to do the we have to do the little circles here. <laughs> uh, did I mention that part of the symptoms of menopause is you feel like your brain just kind of stops and pauses? <laughs> okay, then we'll come up, we'll look up here, we'll hold here, and it's okay. You got to have some humor about it all as well. So smooth breath in. If you need to exhale with the mouth, exhale with the mouth. Okay, take the hand down to the mat. Let's step back. Down dog. Pause here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, let's walk the feet nice and slow to the top of the mat. No rush. And then as you come to this forward bend, just sway side to side. You can let the fingers kind of graze across the floor whatever feels good, almost this idea of this grass that just is blowing gently in the wind. And then we're gonna slowly start to come up, 
one vertebra at a time in your own way. <sighs> okay. And just stand for a moment in Tadasana, mountain pose, where you feel your feet rooting down in the earth. So your deep connection to the wisdom of the mother. And the heart is lifted. And the arms are wide. And you don't have to be a mother to connect to that deep wisdom of the Divine Mother. So from here, we're going to take the arms wide and breathe in. You can lift the heart, lift the chin. And then as you exhale, it's almost like you're doing like a cat-cow movement. As you exhale, you bring the hands, one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly, and round the back. And then breathe in, arms sweep wide. And then exhale, hand to the heart, hand to the belly. And make this whatever you need it to be. You can keep the structure that I've offered here, or if you want to start to move and make it bigger and more expressive, you can do that. But the point is, is just honoring what your body needs, not trying to match me or anyone else. You're going to bring the hands forward if that feels better and do a scooping motion. But just breathe in, and as you breathe out, purse lips or big exhale through the mouth. If you need to make sound, make sound. Because <sighs> there's a lot of emotions that happen <laughs> during this transition as things are shifting and moving. And the next time the arms are wide, hold them there like a funnel. And then gaze upward. And breathe in. And breathe out. Like we are receiving an immense amount of knowledge and wisdom through the years that we live on this earth. And we receive that with gratitude. And then we exhale, we bring that to the heart and to the belly, let the head bow down. This integration of this wisdom into our own abode and the soul and to this knowledge of fire in the belly. And exhale to the mouth. Okay, now balance, okay. This can get a little wonky as we get a little bit older in life, so it's important to constantly bring this into our practice. So we're going to breathe in, sweep the arms wide, and shift the weight to your right foot as you bring your left knee up, as high as feels right to you. And as you exhale, arms go wide and slowly stepping back, shifting the weight to the left foot. And then you breathe in, slowly the right leg lifts, arm sweeps up overhead. Exhaling. And then breathe in. So we're moving slow here for a reason. Moving super fast. That go, 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 that drive, that strive, that achieve. All that stuff depletes our ojas. Depletes that nectar of life that keeps us feeling youthful. Keeps us feeling nurtured. Okay? So when we slow down, it also helps us feel not only that nurturing quality, but also it helps quiet the mind so we can start to have a little bit more clear perception, a little more clear focus. And balance, of course, helps with <laughs> honing the mind. We've got one more. We're going to round. So you're going to shift to the right, arms sweep up, and then exhale, shifting to the left. And breathing in, arms sweeps up. Maybe even adding that exhale, that cooling mist. Okay, we're going to add on here. So breathe in, shift your weight to your right foot, knee comes up. And then slowly we're going to step back and see if you can land on the ball of your foot. And then breathe in, arms sweep up overhead. And then we're going to exhale, step forward, arms go wide, exhale to the mouth. Inhale, shift the weight to the left foot, arms sweep up. Right foot comes up, and then exhaling, stepping back. Hold here and breathe in. And then we're going to continue this, exhaling. Breathing in, you shift your weight. Left leg comes up. Exhaling, shifting back. Pause, breathe in. 
and then exhaling. Inhaling, last one, right leg comes up. Pause, breathe in, and then exhale. And this time, inhale, foot comes down, arms sweep up. Exhale, arms go wide. And take a pause and breathe in and breathe out. And just notice how you've landed in this moment. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, let's step back. I'm stepping back with my left foot, but you just step back so that you can face the camera, so that you can still see the camera, obviously. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is just take your hands to the back of the legs, keep your chin in, and we're just gonna exhale, slide the hands down the legs, nice and slow. And then inhale, come all the way back up, soft bend in the knees. We're just gonna do this a few more times. Remember, chin in is important. And then exhale through the mouth if you need to. And then breathing in, rising up. And of course, if we're breathing out through the mouth, it's always, it's a little bit more encouraged to do the pursed lips. It will help you take a longer exhale, more complete exhale, breathing in. And if you have any respiratory issues going on, it's an incredible technique to help with that. For now, we're going to stay here in the fold. And just breathe in and out. And I'll turn to the side so you can see a little bit better, just for a moment. So as you're holding here, just let the head be heavy. You can have a slight bend in the knees. And sometimes I just like to bob a little bit. I know that's not a traditional thing to do. Sometimes, and sometimes I like to move side to side. Just because if I'm feeling stiff, if I feel really emotional or overheated, i got to really play with the movements to see what is going to be the best for me because if you are experiencing perimenopause and menopause if you're in that transition there's no exact there's no handbook that's really exact for everybody it's different the transition is very different for every single person that goes through it and then bend the knees slowly come up one vertebra at a time and pause Take a breath in and out here at the top. Okay, your transition is unique to you, so honor that journey and what you need to feel nourished to cool the body and the emotions and what you need to help clear your mind. Okay, so from here, we're simply going to come down onto our seat. Okay. Nothing fancy, no fancy transitions that we sometimes do in vinyasa classes. Okay, it's not about the showmanship, right? Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead. We're going to extend the left leg. And you're going to cross the right leg over. Hook your arm around the shin. Take your right arm behind you and lift up. And we're just going to do a little pumping action here. We're going to exhale. We're going to come into the twist. Inhale. Unwind the body as well as turning the head. So we're going to exhale. The body and the head move together. And we're going to inhale, unwind. Very gentle twist, because twists can be very heating. So we don't want to overdo them, but we also want to be able to kind of get into the colon, to kind of nurture the gut. <laughs> Next time we come into the twist, we'll stay here, breathe in, and breathe out. And then Turning your eyes. You can't see what my, my eyes are doing right now, but you're going to cut your eyes. The head's not going to move any further, but the eyes can go further. Nice way to build strength of the eyes. Steady gaze at one point. And then inhale, unwind. And then twist all the way to the other side and just bow it down a little bit. Almost like you're... Give it a little bit of an honoring to the earth and all those divine aspects that rest within you. Okay, let's switch sides. Hook the arm around the shin. Other hand comes behind. Breathe in, lift up. And then we exhale and twist. Eyes go further than the body. 
in the head, inhale, unwind, and then exhale. Inhale, maybe purse lips, cooling mist. Let's do one more. And then we'll pause here, breathing in and out through the nose or in through the nose and out through purse lips. Eyes are on one focal point, steady gaze. Again, that purse lip exhale helps us take a longer exhale, more complete letting go. And it's also a little bit more cooling than exhaling through the nose. And then let's inhale, unwind. Let's take the legs wide this time. Okay, so grab whatever you need here. Okay, I'm gonna grab my blankets that I had in the beginning and I'm gonna lay them out in front of me. And so that when we fold forward, I have something to lay on. So folding forward. Now I understand that this is not always super easy. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna grab another blanket. So you just lift it up as high as you can. And if you can find support for the belly, and turn your head to the side, great. If not, you can put your elbows on the blankets or the floor, let the head rest in the palms of the hands. And there's, as you put that pressure here across the brow, it's soothing for the mind. Close the eyes and just listen to the breath, either laying on the blankets, turning your head to a side, or let the elbows support you as you place the forehead on the palms. Really whatever variation feels right to you. I think I'm gonna set up on my elbows today. And so you notice I explored a couple of different variations. I was like, oh, you know, that one usually works really well for me and it doesn't today and that's okay. You find what works for you today how do you need to be supported and nourished now? Because the body is in flux and we want to be able to support the body where it is in this moment. So our moment to moment awareness helps us discern what we need. Where are we on our bodies? Where are we in our minds? And what are the practices that are going to support us in either staying in that part of our bodies or minds, if that feels nurturing, or if it doesn't, then what are the practices that are going to support us in making the shift? Now, if you want to stay here longer, I always advise staying in poses longer. They're more nourishing. It stabilizes the body and the mind more the longer you stay in the postures. But if you feel like, okay, I'm ready to make this transition out, then you slowly begin to move, coming back up. Taking a pause or breathe. Okay. And then we're going to make our way onto your back and take just one of your blankets this time, not both like we started with. And we're gonna come back to the same place where we began, okay? So sits bones are about six, four to six inches from the edge of the blanket. Head is on the blanket. And if you don't have a blanket, again, don't worry about it. And this time we're gonna take the legs wide. If you didn't the first time, arms wide. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And just take a moment. Is there anything else the body needs? We're doing a little bit of a shorter practice today. So if there's something you feel you need, we haven't done or you want to go back to, then honor that. There's deep wisdom within you. But if you're ready, stay here. Eyes closed and feel the body supported on the earth. And 
just feeling the weight of the body resting upon the earth, completely supported and nourished. As if you are resting in the palm of the Divine Mother. And she is holding you. And reminding you there's nothing that you need to do. There's nothing you need to fix. There's no shape you need to fit into. If who you are in this moment deserves to be here and deserves to live here in joy, Feeling the soft flow, the breath in and out. Feeling yourself sink more deeply into the palm of the divine. With each exhale, you surrender and let go and allow yourself to be held and supported. With each inhale, there's a sense of being kinder and gentler with yourself. With each exhale, you surrender and allow yourself to be supported. With each inhale, there's a tenderness and a sweetness that you draw in for yourself. And just stay with this for a few moments longer. Just allow the breath to be at the perfect rhythm for you, no need to alter it. Continuing to rest here for a few more minutes or as long as you need. Or if you're ready, just gently rolling to one side. And if on your roll, you might want to immediately press up, just make a transition to your seat. your blanket to sit on to give your hips a little bit of a lift, a little bit more ease in the hips and low back. Sitting up as tall as you're able, head over the spine or head over the pelvis, spine tall. Take a breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And we're going to do just a brief pranayam, okay? There's a separate video for this if you want to come back to it later called Sitali or Cooling Breath. So what we're going to do is when you breathe in, you're just going to lift the chin slightly. So you're going to breathe in through the nose. And as you exhale, you're going to curl your tongue and exhale through the tube of the tongue as the chin comes parallel. Oop, I had that wrong. You're going to breathe in. You're going to curl. Did I mention that sometimes your brain lapses during this time? You're going to breathe in. Curl the tongue. And then exhale. Relax the mouth. Chin comes parallel. 
Okay, let's do that again. And note that I have to curl my tongue that way so that my tongue is pressing against the back of my teeth. If you can, you can make your tongue curl like a tube, do that. Okay, so lifting the chin, breathing in through the tube of the tongue. And then exhale, chin comes parallel, exhaling through the nose. A little bit different than we've been practicing, so you're going to breathe in. Relax the mouth, exhale through the nose, chin comes parallel, and a soft exhale. A couple more rounds, curl the tongue, breathe in, lift the chin. Exhale, chin comes parallel, soft exhale through the nose, back of the neck long. Let's do three more. Exhale. You can feel that cooling breath come in through the tube of the tongue. And as you exhale and draw the chin in, back the neck lifts as a sense of quieting of the mind. Last one. And then pause here. Relax the breath. Feel where you are in this moment, body, mind, emotions. Nothing to do, nothing to fix. Not trying to be anyone else, and that includes who we once were or who we thought we should be by now in this point of our lives, but just being here with where we are in this body. And we'll take the hands to the heart Bow the head down. Again, bowing down to that great wisdom that is within you. And honor her. And we'll close with one ohm. Nice deep breath in. to transition into meditation, this would be a perfect time to do so. Allowing yourself to come into stillness more deeply. But if you're ready, you can open the eyes and gently coming back. And so may each of you feel who you really are beyond this mind and beyond this body and, and just know that this is a process that is unlike any other and it's unique to you and just continue to practice and do those things that feel nurturing and supportive to you and also those practices that help you really cool the body but also cool the emotions and the mind um, so a lot of yoga nidra do this practice that we did today, but add on the yoga nidra, the pranayam, like the sitala, or sitala, um, some say, people say sitali, which is the cooling breath. And, you know, this meditation, meditation, meditation. So I honor each of you, and if there's any questions you have, feel free to put them in the comments below. And take care until next time.